So tell us what you're going to make today. Well, I'm actually going to put together two things kind of quickly. They're going to be utilizing some of the same ingredients. So I'm going to make one a, a more of a uh, sweet item and one more of a savory item. Um, so I'm going to make a, a salad with uh, some grilled goat cheese brie. And then I'm also going to make a savory or a sweet dish utilizing some ricotta, some orange blossom honey. And both dishes are going to utilize the stone fruit. Beautiful. So well, let's yeah. get started. We're just going to play around. Well, I'm going to take some of the um, seasonal uh, stone fruits that we have and I know give them a little roast. Uh, and then I'm going to make uh, two different dishes. I'm going to make one a salad dish and I'm going to make one of more of a dessert dish. It's going to be a little, uh, some fun stuff going on it's with a, a good combination of flavors, some spice, some sweetness, some savory. So it should be kind of fun. Delicious. So first of all, I'm going to take some uh, pistachios. And let me know if you need help. I'll help all you All right. Out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some I'll be your sous chef today. orange blossom honey. I'm just going to stir it around. going to take that. We're just going to toast it off a little bit, right caramelize some of the sugars, bring out some of the sweetness, and before we put it in, one thing we're going to do is add a little sea salt. This is fleur de sel. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. A bit of a finishing salt. A little coarse. And then we can, yeah, and then we can go just on the uh, left hand side there. And then take out some of the stone fruit. We're going to do a little roast on the stone fruit. That's interesting. You're going to roast the fruit. Yeah, so a little bit of a char and a little bit of a, will create a little bit of caramelization. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm just going to put a little bit of um, olive oil on there just to, uh, as a conductor. Right, so it won't dry out as much. So it won't dry out as much and it'll help conduct the heat. So I got some white peaches. It's nice and fresh and in season. This is right at the those beginning are great of the season. Right now too. Oh, this right is at the beginning of the season. Those white peaches. And you leave skin on on all Absolutely. these. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Because that's where all our protein comes from, right? Vitamins, vitamins and minerals. And as much of the uh, leaving it as intact as possible is really the way to go. And when you order fruit here for the hotel, mm -hmm. does it come in? Um, that ripe or is it in different stages? Um, it depends. Like I actually have the option of ordering my stuff in a variety of different ways. Like for instance, bananas, I can order a little bit underripe, a little bit overripe, depending okay. on what I'm doing. So how many people do you have on staff working with you here? Uh, about 24. Twenty-four between the two restaurants and the pastry shop. We fortunately have a pastry shop here at the hotel, which is one of the, the uh, bonuses a lot of hotels these days don't and they outsource all their pastry right, exactly. um, fortunately I have a great pastry team uh, and it's you know a lot of people just don't have the uh, capacity that I have to produce mm -hmm. desserts in-house it's you know it's it's expensive these days for people to produce their own desserts but you know what it's well worth it you know it's nothing better than getting um, and it's freshly expensive. Made desserts. I, I do a lot of events where I outsource the uh, desserts mm -hmm. and sometimes my dessert bill is more than very close to my food bill. Oh yeah, for an yeah. event for 200 people. The advantage that I have is just um, having a creative team, and you know, being able to do custom work. I do. I would say 60% of the work that I do at the hotel is custom work, and that's catering to your your clients and what they're looking for. Right. Because uh -huh. I do see a very mixed clientele here in Buffalo, and and you need to obviously cater to to their needs. Absolutely, and it, that's what keeps them coming back. Then I'll just take a little bit of uh, drizzle some olive oil on them. There you go. And actually, we're gonna just add a little bit of the uh, fleur de sel as well. You know, food still salt on the fruit, huh? Well, it actually will bring out some of the sweetness. It will. Yeah. Okay, great. You know, it 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 will actually pull some of the sugar out of the fruit through the moisture, and you know, things don't season themselves. That's right. You need a little bit of help. Terrific. How long do you want to keep this in here? Uh, just so they pick up a touch of color. Okay. We are going to make a little sweetened ricotta. We're going to use some orange blossom honey to sweeten the ricotta. What we're doing here is just cross utilizing ingredients as well. You know, just cross utilize. Utilize what you have in the kitchen. Absolutely. That's what it's about. 
And that's what makes cooking fun, improvisation, mm -hmm. when you can just take the ingredients that are in your refrigerator and in your cupboard and just put that. them together. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah. And so I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take some sponge cake and we're going to do some croutons. With sponge cake? Yeah. Very inventive. Very inventive. And that is going to match well. Add a little bit of texture to our dessert. Who says you can't get a great meal at a hotel? Cooking needs to be fun, you know? It's, a, it's not just about presentation, it's about fun, it's about flavor, it's about the food. And the, and the unique thing about the Hyatt here is that you're being creative at a hotel restaurant. You pick oh, up the orange blossom, oh honey? Oh my goodness. So I uh, did a little grill on the goat uh, brie. And this is stuff that anybody can do, you know, and, and you know, mixing and matching ingredients. Right. Exactly. You know, and but yeah, you smell the caramelization oh, yeah, right there. That's fantastic. Okay. And we also spoke earlier about utilizing the crystallized ginger, which is oh, one yeah. of my favorite ingredients to use. I use it in sauces, marinara sauces. Mm -hmm. I'll use it with salmon, and people don't realize it's a sugar-coated candied ginger. And we're actually going to put it in the salad. Oh, beautiful! Yeah, it's going to add a little bit of a so sweetness. Healthy. Uh, as you know, ginger very healthy for you, ginger and garlic. Antioxidants. And, and, and to have it in a crystallized, sugar-coated form really brings out flavor in a lot of foods. All right. So, we're going to take some of the arugula. I know you like a little bit of endive. Of course. Um, I added a little uh, living watercress to that as well. And uh, so that's going to add a little bit of a peppery bite. Got a little bitterness going on. Yeah, right? a little bitterness, a little sweetness with caramelizing of the fruit. A little bit of olive oil. It's a sexy salad. A little bit of fresh cracked pepper. So from now on, you want a nice meal downtown Buffalo? Bring a date, bring your wife, bring your kids and come out here and you'll have a wonderful meal because this is very unique for a hotel restaurant. Making sure to get some of that crystallized ginger. You've got tartness, you've got sweetness, Bitterness, you got the crunch with the endive. A little bit of uh, creaminess. You've got the creamy aspect by adding this go, go, uh, brie goat cheese. Wonderful. And then the, uh, the citrus, the pepperiness, a lot of flavors going on. But simple, just using the fresh ingredients. And you know what? Is there a name for this salad that's on the menu? No. You just made it I up. I just made it up. Terrific. I, you know what? I literally went to the store this morning and I saw what was available and that's what I wanted to use. A little balsamic? No balsamic. That'll go with all the greens. And you don't need lots. People don't no. realize. They smother their salads and dressings. So you dipping the, the roasted fruit within it. Um, but not overpowering it, that's you know, right. just as a little, like a condiment. Mm, so that's good. So that's ready to go. And let's play around with our little uh, savory version, or sweeter version. All right, so you've got a ricotta. Uh, this is the ricotta that added a little bit of the um, orange blossom honey. And you're adding the same fruit that you, uh, we added to this yep. salad. Just cross utilizing. So, so if you're coming down and you want to get two salads and get two different total experiences right here with the same ingredients. Yeah. And then we're going to take some of those toasted pistachios. Those are awesome. Well, you, can, you, you can put them on here as well. Oh, absolutely. A adding that little bit of texture. Yeah. Little sponge croutons. Give a little more sweetness, right? Yeah. Like, you know, almost like a strawberry shortcake. You know, you have that same shortcake in there, mm -hmm. that sponge that's cake. That's right. And Never then thought of that. That's a wonderful idea. And then there's one more thing that we can add to this. Well, a couple more things we can add to this. A little bit of radish. 
on this because that's going to have that peppery, peppery crunch. And it's very pretty too, very colorful. Yeah. Michael, this looks fabulous. Thank you so much. Is there anything else we need to add to this? Well, I just ran out to the front, grabbed some fresh herbs from in the lobby that we have oh, growing up. Oh, from the up, herb garden. From the herb garden. Oh, so I'm going to drop a few herbs on there. Oh, because I'm going to dig in, my friend. Because these are really going to uh, make it pop. Fresh Beautiful. herbs. So you always. grow fresh mint, fresh basil. Fresh basil, fresh uh, parsley, pre um, thyme, Rose, rosemary. rosemary. Yeah. Beautiful. Right in the lobby. Well, I'm going to have a bottle. You know what? I think I'm going to sample this one first with that. Ricotta. The ricotta, little cherry, pistachio nut, and a piece of the mint. Mmm. Mmm. Bon appetit. Mmm. That is delicious. It's a myriad of flavors. Just yeah. With a touch of texture. Blowing out my palate. Now this one, we have arugula, all the fresh fruit that you did, and the brie, goat cheese brie. You know, for someone like me who's not a big salad guy, I could eat this all day long. Fantastic. This well, is delicious. And if you don't want salad, we have EB Green Steakhouse right here in the hotel. Once again, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate everything. Thank you very much, everyone. I'm here with Executive Chef Michael Wilkes from the Hyatt Regency at 2 Fountain Plaza in Buffalo. And today, Michael, you're going to prepare us a, one of your interesting and fun dishes. And people don't realize they can come to the hotel and get great food. Most people think of hotel food, burgers, steaks, chicken, chops. They don't realize they can come and eat an incredible meal and have some interesting and healthy alternatives at a hotel absolutely and that's what you're here doing yeah yeah great show us what you're going to do today 